Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin, continuing on having a look at all of the window types that appear in Harmony 12, moving up the different versions that are available. So last time we had a look at Essentials, and now we're having a look at the new windows that appear in Harmony 12 Advanced. So, as a rule of thumb, everything that is in Essentials is in Advanced as well. So things that we looked at, Drawing View, Top and Side View, how the color palettes work, the relationship between Tool and Layer Properties, is all there. But there's a few things that get added as well, uh, which may entice your interest. So let's have a look at what they are. So under the Windows drop down menu, we can see everything we've seen before, but there are a couple of interesting extras. The most notable one is the X sheet. This is the X sheet, and this is a vertical view of the timeline. I've talked about this a little bit in roughing an epic punch the traditional animation series so go have a look at that video and you can see this thing in action but i'm going to give a bit of a general overview on what it does it is just a vertical view of the timeline so as i add a bunch of extra drawings in here and head back to our x sheet where's it gone oh you've gone and run away haven't you there he is okay so i'll pop him up there in uh, that tab there and you can see there is a bunch of layers all the way across so why do you want to have it like this and not just like this well advanced as a whole lot of extra features for uh, animating traditionally primarily uh, we can start marking frames as keyframes and breakdowns when, <laughs> when you actually have drawings in them let me just making a mess like that so there you go drawings one two and three so they can be named as well you can label them as keyframes you can name them as certain events that will be taking place in the animation as well and you know we'll call this one keyframe this one breakdown etc uh, etc et a lot of these buttons along here also exist in the timeline but there are extra layer types that you can add to an x sheet that you cannot add to a timeline so i'll point out what some of those are uh, so timeline layers for example are things like the cameras, pegs, uh, bones, different effects, and sound, right? So general project building stuff. The X sheet is a little bit different because it's thinking more about traditional animation and controls and that kind of stuff. So if I add a layer, this is an add column button. You can see we get the type pull down there and there's drawing, sound, 3D path, Bezier curve, ease curve, and annotation. So what are these things? These are basically blank tweens. So before anything gets tweened, it is literally just a number until it is assigned a parameter. So if I add an ease curve, for example, it appears there. This thing is just going to register numbers like that, right? So notice it tweens between eight and 12, and then I can pin this to drawings and make it move throughout the scene. So it's literally a way of animating with numbers. You probably won't use it a whole lot, but its main advantage comes in as separating parameters, right? Uh, the other kind of thing you can add is an annotation. These things are kind of cool because what it does is it lets you make little notes on your animation. So now it's got a little brush symbol there and you can be like, oh, important. <laughs> And you know, you can say like, oh, this is where a movement begins and finishes like that and kind of uh, mark out in-betweens and do a lot of pre-calculating and thinking about stuff that you're planning. It's particularly useful when you're working in a team. A lead animator can jot down what they want their in-betweenists and their assistants to know. But the main advantage of the X sheet, because a lot of that stuff may not have appealed to you, is how it relates to the drawing view. So we saw the drawing view last time when we looked at essentials and all it really was, was just another way of looking at the artwork, right? You know, it just isolated one layer. But the X sheet uses this to introduce a whole plethora of additions, particularly ways of expanding the onion skin. We can see forwards and backwards through just that one layer and the ones above and below, but also has shift and trace. This is a concept of focusing on just a few frames at a time in order to create more convincing morphing when you're animating frame by frame. Uh, again, I've gone into this in more detail in the Roughing and Epic Punch series, so go check it out there to see it in action. Uh, but that's uh, a good way of how the X sheet and the drawing view work together. It allows you to see all of your frames as 
if there were pieces of paper all stacked up on top of one another. This is the stack. The reason it exists is historically, this is how animation works traditionally. So if you're an animator that worked on paper or on cells, you wouldn't have a timeline, obviously. You just had tons and tons of pieces of paper. So they had an X sheet with them. It was basically just a spreadsheet on paper and they could mark out what all the drawings were, name them accordingly, keep everything organized so that they could keep their animation in one block and someone else could pick it up. They'd look at the X sheet and they would understand exactly how this thing was supposed to play out. So that's the X sheet. What was the other window that is added in Harmony Advanced? It's called Perspective. Perspective is awesome. This is not dissimilar to the top and side views that we looked at during the Essentials episode. However, it adds a whole new uh, dimension uh, to 3D. Because now we can pan around. If you hold the Option and Command key down at the same time, you can pan all the way around your scene and see how it works. So those are the only two extra windows that are added in Harmony Advanced. There's a whole lot of extra features and tools, uh, but they will wait for the uh, tools. Uh, video. So things like bitmap drawing, it's very good. Hang around for that. So have some fun and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for coming by. I hope you got something out of it. If you got stuck somewhere or something was a bit tricky, or if you have an idea for something else you'd like to see in a video, uh, please let me know. In the meantime, you can check out some of my other stuff in those links just there. Whoa. But thanks again, and I'll see you again soon.